All right, YouTube, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to get lined up like the professionals. What do they do to get lined up? Stay tuned. All right, so this one can be a little tricky, Kyle, because everybody is so different and yeah. their strategies and the balls that they throw, how they see the lane, you know, just everybody is so different. So we're gonna go through how Kyle likes to warm up technically, which isn't too far off from everyone else. It's a really good solid um, base on how you can see the lane. So Kyle, what would you say are like the first couple things you look forward to when you're trying to figure out the pattern? Yeah, so Brad put out a pattern here for me. I have no idea what it is. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm, first thing I like to do is I like to take a medium-ish ball for me and just figure out what the lane is doing for one. So for me, it's gonna be this Hustle PBR. Uh, the way I drilled it, it's a little stronger. I would say this is a little weaker ball, but I drilled this stronger. It's got a little bit of surface on it. It's a ball that I really like in my bag. And I'm gonna use this ball to gauge what the oil pattern is doing to get after my first few shots, see if it's a short pattern, long pattern, whatever. Yeah, and there's a couple, you gotta get warmed up. You're warming up technically, but you're also just seeing what's out there. Where's the hook, where's the slide, you know, that whole thing. Exactly, so it's interesting, like your thought process is a little different when you don't know what the pattern is. So what I like to do is I like to, when I'm warming up, I like to throw a shot way to the right, stand over there, go up the lane, and just see what my ball does. Okay. So hook. Yeah, so when I throw that shot, now I have an idea that, okay, the ball hooked really early, but it didn't knife off the end of the pattern like maybe a short pattern was. So now I'm thinking, okay, this is a medium, long pattern, something along those lines. So that was our first shot. Now, after that, I'm just gonna move my feet a few more right. So this would be, you know, like my second shot in practice. I'm gonna go between, all right, sorry, left. Yeah, definitely not moving right. Somewhere between second and third arrow and see what my ball is. So that one was much better. Much better. Or just in the general idea of where you're gonna play. Yeah, that was, uh, that was closer to hitting the pocket. That was like 11 at the arrows, getting it out to five. So, and the ball's, like I said, it's not knifing off the end of the pattern. So now I know it's definitely not a short pattern because if a short pattern was out here 33 feet or something like that, that ball would have went way left. And if you see that, if you see it just knife off, then you go to your urethanes and just your weaker balls that you can somehow control more. Yeah, absolutely. So now I kind of have, I'm, after just those two shots, I'm starting to paint that picture in my head. I'm starting to understand, okay, where can I throw it? Like you said, where's the hook? Where's the push? Now I see there's a little bit of hook right and there's some push in the middle. So... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move a little more left around 15, slow my ball speed down, and I just wanna get an idea of what happens when I throw it there. Okay. So that hooked. That hooked. That was interesting. That was interesting. So now I'm thinking, okay, that was around 15. I didn't get it out, I slowed it down. Hmm. But still, I feel like you threw it in a way to where if it was a long pattern that was really slick, that would have not hooked so much. Yeah, So now we're, we're still in that medium range. So yeah, now I'm thinking this is a medium pattern. You're right. If it was a longer pattern, it would have went way further down the lane. So now I'm thinking, all right, well, and this is where when you talked about it, everyone's a little different. I know for me personally, I try to... And I don't know if this is the right way, but I know my strengths as a bowler. So now when I'm lining up, I want to see, okay, what's the oil pattern? Then how can I play this oil pattern in my strengths? Well, I like to play left. I like to kind of, I don't like to throw it way too hard and I like to create angles. So now I'm thinking, all right, maybe I can do that on this pattern. Yeah. So I'm going to move a little bit further left, kind of keep the same idea on my ball speed, open up my angle of touch, and then just see if I would hit the pocket. And one of the main things to see when you're playing that far left is when you get it going to the right, does it hook? Like, does it come back? That one did. Like, before it could reach that out of bounds, it started to hook 
and then actually came back. So that tells you something. Yeah, that, and it started shaping. So now, and that one got a little bit further right than I wanted to, but that would have hit the pocket. So, and that's a, that's a, I'm really comfortable playing that zone where I can keep it slow, really be aggressive with it, and then create some shape. So for me, that's a comfort zone type thing. Some other people might be looking, okay, how can I play a little straight? I would this say pattern? typically most people would have a lower rev rate than you. Right. Um, but the thing, the thing we got out of this so far is there's hook. Like everywhere on the lane we've played has hooked and none of it has went too far down the lane. Right. So that's like a big picture. We know immediately that no matter where we play or what ball we're throwing, there's plenty of hook on the lane. So that's, that's a kind of a key thing. Yeah, and so now based off what the lane is telling me, I know that I'm going to be playing left. I know it's not a short pattern, so I'm probably not going to be playing right for very long. So I'm really not going to mess around anything right of 10 because maybe I'd be, I could play there for a game and keep my speed up, but I know as soon as transition starts happening, I'm going to have to get way left. So I'm already kind of looking to get in there, get comfortable, try to get ahead of that transition. Yeah. So I'm going to throw a shot pretty similar to what I just did. Speed a little slow. Be aggressive, get it right, somewhere around 17, 18. Oh, that was terrible. I mean, this is important. Like, not every shot's going to be great. We're still paying attention to what our ball does when we miss, right? Because that's important, too. So, you miss left. It was a little grabby. Definitely grabby. Miss left. And it overhooked. So, that goes into, you know, him figuring out, well, where exactly am I going to play? Well, he's comfortable left, but if he misses so far, well, I guess you missed to the right once, but if he misses left, it's gone. So he's thinking about that. Like, as he's formulating his strategy, he knows that if he grabs it and misses left, it's not going to strike. Yeah, and that's, and that's what we're just trying to understand, where to play, where my misses are. That's all getting lined up is just figuring out where you're missing. I mean, figuring out where you can miss as well. That's a, that's a big deal. Like, if, if you're the guy in the field that has the most miss room, that's a pretty good thing. Yeah, generally when we're born on this, I'm looking, okay, do I have a spot to throw it to or am I trying to get the ball to hold? Yes. Like, I'm either, you either want to play one or the other. T typically when we feel like we're bowling bad, we're not playing either one. We don't feel like we have either one. Yeah, we're being yeah. indecisive. You don't, either, you don't have hold or hook, and you got to have one of them. you got to have one of them. So let's see if we can make a good shot here. So I don't know. That one... I don't even know if I want to be that far left. I'm going to move a touch back right. I'm going to move a touch back right. I'm going to get around 16 at the arrows. I don't think I'm going to throw it as hard. And I don't know. We'll just uh, we'll see what happens because maybe I just don't need the super low ball speed right now. So let's throw a shot and see what that does. So was that more ball speed? That was a little more ball speed. That was around 16 at the arrows. And my thought was maybe I can move right, keep my speed up, and it'll hold to the pocket and be good. Now, for me, I did exactly pretty much what I wanted to do on that shot, and I four pinned. So I know I think I have to move left now. Or, like, the ball he is throwing, this cover stock, is one of the strongest cover stocks that Storm makes. So. Your bowling ball could also be a little strong. Yeah, so that's another option. We're only using, sorry, <laughs> broke his finger. We're only using one ball just for this demonstration, but yeah, now I'm thinking, eh, maybe something like a Zen that's like a pearl, but not super clean, a little rollier. Like, this might not be the correct ball, but just for demonstration, one more shot. That one was like 16 at the arrows. I'm gonna try to get 18 at the arrows. See what happens. Okay, so that was good. That's after evaluating all those shots, I, we probably threw nine of them or so. That's pretty close to where I'm gonna play. I might even go a couple more left off of that. Yep. And now, granted, he's a, a high rev guy, loves to play left. I would say majority of you would feel more comfortable playing farther right but the, the thing we got out of this the most is they're hooking right like that's that's the big deal does the pattern hook or does it not hook that kind of tells you what balls you need to throw where you need to play and there's plenty of hook 
on this specific pattern. So that's important. You know that for the rest of the game, for the rest of the tournament, league, whatever, that there's hook, which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, and, and this is just one example, but the whole, I like, use some of these ideas the next time you go out and bowl, even if you know the pattern, go out, play the right. Tell us, like, tell yourself, okay, is it hook? Is it tight out there? And then play further in. Everyone has their comfort zone where they like to play, but you need to get have a good idea, play different parts of the lane and practice to see, okay, what's out there? What's there? Because you never know. I'm sure we've thrown shots in practice where we were lost, and then all of a sudden we tried something completely different. We're like, ooh, that's there. And now you're lined up, ready to go. So get out of your comfort zone, guys. Keep some of these thought processes in your head. Keep an open mind. And, yeah, that's how we get lined up. And that's definitely how we get lined up. But there's one little other thing that we could talk about, and it's just paying attention to your surroundings. Yes. That could tell you a lot as well. Um, from your opponents, your league mates, whatever, you can learn a lot from their bowling ball going down the lane and you just watching their bowling ball go down the lane. Uh, and then you can use that to help you maneuver or figure out whatever you need to do so all right everyone thanks for watching the video make sure you subscribe like the video that helps us out a ton again that's how we get lined up pretty simple have an open mind pay attention to your surroundings do that and you'll have a good idea where to play yep have a good one